Hey, today I wanted to talk to you about developer blogs. So being a content creator and a web developer, it makes for a pretty interesting overlap that uh, some other people take slightly different than I do. So I came across this tweet a while back that is just so hilarious and so spot on because it's just an example of how engineers love to over-engineer their website. I mean, I literally know people that have rebuilt their website more times than they've actually written content for it. And to be fair, I think that that's perfectly fine. If you use your website as a tool to learn new technologies, that's great. After all, we need those projects to keep our skills sharp. But I like to keep my website as a place where I'm actually focused on writing content. So it's important for me to keep away from those technical distractions. Now that's why I build my website on WordPress. I've been using it for about a decade. It's awesome. It has everything I need, uh, allows me to write content. I can have a drag and drop website builder. So even if I want to change, do some major changes to the homepage, I can just drag and drop. Uh, it also has user accounts built in, permissions, uh, media file uploads, a taxonomy system. It's great, I love it. And those are all features that if I wanted to have on a website that I built myself by hand, I'd have to build all of those in, let alone the security and performance features. And for all of the features that are not built into WordPress, there's about a bajillion plugins that I can search for and find the feature that's missing. So today's video is really about removing some of those technical barriers and making it easier for us to get to do the thing that we actually want to do. So I'm going to show you how to launch a WordPress website on Linode and how easy it is. So maybe if you've had a Linode account, you are familiar with creating a new Linode or using this little drop down. But I actually wanted to showcase this little marketplace feature that I found recently and thought was super cool because as someone that likes WordPress, I can get in here and just with one click, start setting up a WordPress instance. So I'm gonna fill out all this uh, information really quick. It doesn't matter if you see my password or not because this I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down this install, but I just wanna sh walk you through the steps. So really quick right here, I'm just gonna point out that there's three password fields. This one is to access your WordPress installation, so your WordPress user can get in. This one is for the MySQL root access. And this last one is the uh, password you're going to give for WordPress to be able to access the database. Okay, this one here is to give set up a new user called WordPress for the uh, actual server access, and that's the password. Okay, and now here, this is uh, just an important part that you're gonna have to pick the domain that you're gonna run it on. So I'm going to run mine at nugget.austingill.com. Again, this is gonna be gone by the time this video goes out, but I do wanna show you some of the networking stuff. So next, I'm just gonna pick Ubuntu here and I'm going to select the actual Linode plan. So I'm gonna go down to the shared plan and get this nano uh, one gigabyte. So you can see it's only $5 a month to run my website on this plan and that's really cool. And down here, I'll just add a bunch of uh, keys to this password. I don't even know what that actually says because I'm gonna have access through SSH. And then we'll create this Linode. Okay, so now that it's uh, provisioning, that'll be up in a moment, but I wanna take this opportunity to explain that maybe you've set up a WordPress site before. I know I have on some shared hosting providers, I'm not going to name names, but I do wanna say that Linode is slightly different because in addition to what I believe is a better performance or a better uh, service offering, it's really cool that they actually give me root level access to my little shared server. So that's not something that you're going to get on other hosting plans that I as a developer that has to get into those boxes sometimes uh, really value. Okay, and once it's up, there's one more thing we have to do. So I have to take this IP address. That's the IP address that my server is going to run at. And I just logged into my own DNS registrar and added a new A record that points nugget.austingill.com to that IP address. And if you got your DNS set up correctly to your IP address and everything worked as expected, we should be able to go to nugget.austingill.com. And there's my new WordPress website. And I should be able to go to slash wp-admin and be able to log in with my username and password that I set up. And oh, look at that. 
new WordPress install, ready to go, ready to write a bunch of cool stuff about web development and Nugget. So that's all I got for you today. This video is kind of about two things. One is how I really like blogging and how WordPress makes my life easier. And also how Linode Marketplace makes it really easy to install a whole bunch of apps. So if you haven't seen the Linode Marketplace, you can find it at linode.com slash marketplace slash apps, unless you already have an account. And there's a bunch of cool stuff in here that's like one click installs like Node.js or even some databases or uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of cool stuff, monitoring, productivity, security. It's pretty neat. I haven't had a chance to explore it all, but I definitely want to. And if you don't have an account, uh, good news, I might be able to put a link into the description that will get you like $100 credit to use on Linode. So if you wanna check it out, let me know. So that's all I got for today. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts about the video, about WordPress, about Linode. Throw it in the comment. Maybe tell me uh, what your favorite WordPress plugins are or if you wanna know about my favorite WordPress plugins, uh, find me on Twitter.